Hi all, it's Andy for Solar Reviews again and today I'm here with our REC Solar Panels 2021 Expert Review. REC Solar are quite a unique solar company in that they manufacture in Singapore but are actually Norwegian owned and part of a listed Norwegian group. They're a very high quality module manufacturer with a very good reputation in the industry. For those of you who don't know, our expert rating score rates solar panel manufacturers on a score out of 50 based on a number of criteria that we think are often hidden from consumers when they make these decisions and which we think are relevant to your decision making process. The first of those categories is module quality. For that category we scored REC solar panels 9 out of 10. They're panels, or the, at least their leading panel, has a very, very good efficiency rating of 21.9%. Now to put that in context of the very best panels, the very highest panels are in the sort of mid 22% range. So I think SunPower has a panel which is 22.8%, but most of their residential panels are more like about 22.5%. So 21.9 versus, you know, 22.5 for the absolute most official module, it's very, very close. Um, in terms of the other thing we look at to rate module quality, we look at temperature coefficient. In terms of temperature coefficient, at minus 0.26, REC Solar is actually the market leader. So that is slightly lower than SunPower's temperature coefficient. And in relation to temperature coefficient, we're looking for a lower number, not a higher number, because we're looking for a panel that will degrade their power output, will at least will degrade less as temperature goes up. So on the temperature coefficient, REC solar panels are actually the market leader at this point. In terms of financial visibility, REC solar panels didn't score as well as some of the others like LG uh, and some others where the reason being is that Elchem, their parent, is listed in Norway on the stock exchange there. And it is quite a large company. We're talking revenues of just under $3 billion, but a very small profit, only showed a profit of $32 million last year. And that's for the whole group, which has many, many divisions. There's no separate visibility of what the financials are for their solar division. So we've got no idea if their solar business is actually making any money or not. And so it's very, very hard for us to sit here and advise consumers and say, yeah, although this is a great module, um, the REC solar modules, it's hard for us to stand here and recommend them when we're not even sure if the business division makes any money. Because if obviously if it's not making money, there's every chance that they'll stop doing it and if they stop doing it will they care about the brand and will they honor warranties in the long term so we don't know about that so they scored a little bit lower than at five out of ten than what many others did in terms of usa investment they scored three out of five they do have some very good dealers here in the usa but there's no manufacturing um, and certainly nothing like the dealer network that we see for SunPower or lg or some a panel like that in terms of value they score 11 out of 15. they really are a module that sits halfway in the value chain between the big really good tier one Chinese module manufacturers like Canadian, Trina, Longy, Jinko, JA Solar, you know, they, they sit at the real value end and then you've got the very expensive panels like SunPower and LG and Panasonic. REC is a very high quality panel that sits somewhere in between that and so we scored them 11 out of 15 for value, which is not bad. It's, it's in the middle. It's um, higher than what SunPower and Panasonic and LG scored for value, but lower than what companies like Longy and Canadian and Trina and Jinko scored for value. So uh, in terms of the next criteria is dealer network. We scored them four out of five because there are some really quite good REC solar panels dealers around the country. So you probably can find a good dealer with good reviews 
close to you that sells these uh, panels. In terms of warranty, we mark them five out of five. Um, REC Solar has quite an unusual warranty. It's very, very good, but there's sort of two levels of warranty. There's a normal warranty they have, which gives a 20 year product warranty and a 25 year power output warranty, which derates down only to 92%. So what that effectively means at the end of 25 years, they guarantee that their panels will produce 92% of the rated power they produce day one. What makes their warranty a little bit odd is they have a special warranty that if you buy them through a licensed, uh, sorry, a, a certified, is probably a better word, REC solar panels dealer, then they give a 25 year product warranty as well as the 25 year power output warranty. Now the whole thing about why panels need to have a product warranty and a power output warranty, it sort of seems a bit ridiculous because if the panel falls apart, it's not gonna make power. But nonetheless, for some reason, that's the way it is in the industry. And in any event, REC solar panels score very, very highly. So overall, they score 37 out of 50. That puts them in the excellent category. Um, it puts them equal fourth on our list and so really quite a credible, solid, very, very high quality module. Um, and I hope that's helped today if you're considering Rex Solar for your solar project. If you're simply wanting to find out the cost and savings of solar panels for your home and the economics of solar as it will relate to your specific home given your amount of power use and your local utility rates, we have a great open solar calculator that we've linked below in this video and you can jump on there and use that and, and find out likely costs and savings and payback without putting any f personal information in there. So good luck with your solar shopping experience and we hope this video helped.